again and I am back with a wonderful dog, the Carne Corso, as requested by Dora on an earlier video. So a little bit about the breed first. So the Carne Corso gets its name from the Italian word carne, being dog, and Corso comes from the Latin coos, meaning protector. So the breed name literally means the protector dog. The Cane Corso is of mastiff origins and was, was most commonly used to protect property, family, livestock, and unfortunately as a dog of war in ancient Rome. The breed's closest cousin is the Neapolitan Mastiff. The breed is described as strong though elegant and be it male or female is large and very muscular whilst remaining athletic. Height ranges from 56 to 71 centimeters or 22 to 28 inches. Males weigh about 45 to 50 kilograms which is 99 to 110 pounds. Females are around 40 to 45 kilograms or 88 to 99 pounds. The colours range from black to black and brindle, chestnut brindle, fawn and tan. Their temperament, they're very intelligent, so trainable, even tempered, stable, quiet and calm. Uh, I chose to create him with his ears and tail intact because did you know that dogs' ears and tails are very, very important for canine social communication. So when they meet one another, so many cues are in the movement of the tail and the movement of their ears. And without either of those, they are a, a distinct disadvantage in social interactions with one another. So has his ears and tails Tails? He's only got one. Okay, so I started with the base of the Mastiff in The Sims 4 and from there I modelled him to resemble a Cane Corse as much as I could and uh, started adding details and I kept going back in as you can see and I'm using one picture as a reference I hope you catch a glimpse of and they have a very very short double coat so that they're waterproof so I was trying to get that in the painting of the details on him which was somewhat difficult it took quite a while to get I had to keep going in and keep going in and I wanted to show just how muscular they are without him being like some big bully boy <laughs> So it was lots of going in and out and in and out and trying to get the details. So I um, went with the fawn because I just think he's very handsome. And again, I'm watching along with you, so if I go quiet, it's because I'm not watching it again. <laughs> so here I was trying to uh, get his chest right. Now I'm coming back through on the back, and you'll see me try to get his chest correct and everything. looking okay now and here at the back they have like a feathering on their rear legs which I was trying to get just right but I think he's coming together really nicely he is almost complete I can't do anything about the seam on his chest. Since an update, there's something that's gone on and yeah, you can't get rid of that seam that runs down their tummy or on their legs. No matter how much you paint over it, and I've done it a few times. And this is him, I think. I think I'm done. Yep. 
So I hope you like him. He's looking somewhat magnificent, I think. Very regal. I don't think he looks very vicious, but he's not. He's a very sweet dog. And there's his tummy and chest and his traits. He is friendly, loyal and smart. So he's the perfect pet for you, I hope he is. <laughs> and here he is as a puppy, which I think is again just so poor. Oh. Okay, so I will leave you here and I will be back soon with another video and another animal. If you would like me to make anything in particular, just leave a comment and I'll see if I can make it. All right, thank you again and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.